Is the screen visible? Yes. Shuklam Brahma Vichara Sara Paramam Adyan Jagat Vyapini Vina Pustaka Dharini Mavedan Jadyan the Karapaham Hastes Partikamalikam Vidazatim Padmasani Samstitam Pandetam Parami Shurim Bhagavatim Tipradam Sharadam Natwasaraswati in Devi Shuddam Gunyam Karumyam Panini a Praveshaya Nagusitan the Kumuti. <clears throat> so continuing with Yushma Dasma Shabda, we finished the uh, single form of the entire world. Now there are optional forms in the Dvitiya, Chaturthi and Shashti. So for that, the Sutra, the Sutra introduced is Yushma Dasmadoho Shashti Chaturthi Dvitiyasthayoho Van Navo. This should be Van Navo. Yushma Dasmadoho Shashti Chaturthi Dvitiyastha. Dvitiyasthayoho Van Navo. So Van and Nau. These are the Adeshas for Yushma Dasmad respectively in the second, fourth and sixth cases. Now the second, fourth and sixth cases, the Adesha should be applicable if you look at 8120. 8120. So here 8120 says the Anurti is there is nothing to separate this in whether it is you know applicable for singular, plural, dual, what is it for? So here, it should be applicable for all, all the vachanas. However, there are there are exceptions which follow. So just let let's look at this section first. Um, so if, if you look at this section here, yushma dasmadoho shakti chaturthi dvitiyasthayoho van navo. Anurti is Padat Padasya. Padat Padasya and Padat, that is the only Anurti that we see here. Further, the there are Vartikas, Ekavakya Yushmadasmado, Adesha, Vaktavya, and Ete Vanna Van Navadayaha Ananvadeshe Va Vaktavya. These are the two Vartikas. But then the next sutra. 818. Sorry. 8118 also is the Anurti. 8118 is what? Uh, sarvam Padado. Yeah. Uh, anudattam Sarvam Padado. Okay, so anyway, that is uh, uh, that's the Swara. So we are, I mean, we just generally don't study Swaras. So Swaras uh, exceptions, I mean, we'll leave that aside because we, uh, the Swaras are lost in the Sampradha, unfortunately. But uh, what is important here is there is not much Anuvritti which will differentiate between vachanas. So vachana differentiation is not there in 8120, but immediately following sutra is about bhau vachana. The next one is about ek vachana and the third one is about dvitiya. Dvitiya vibhakti. But vachana wise in 20, it should be applicable to for all vachanas, but for the exceptions that follow for bhau vachana and ek vachana. So what does this tell us is that to interpret the 8120 sutra, where are these Adeshas one for Yushmad and no for Asmad applicable? It is applicable only in Dvivachana because Bhavachana, Bhavachana Sya Vasnasau and Te Maya Ekavachana Sya. So in Ekavachana and Bhavachana, there are other Adeshas. Thereby, we can interpret 8120 as applicable only for Dvivachana. So in in derivation, if we are doing Yushmad plus Dvitiya, Dvitiya is Am. So if I were to derive Yushmad plus Am here, I should move forward into the 22nd Sutra and then the Adesha will be Te. So there will be Te Adesha. And if you get Te Adesha, the form will be 
just say that is it is entire takara and ekara anekal shit sarvasya thereby the adesha will be te for uh, for dvitiya this is also prapta but i can't apply why because not only 21 and 22 there is also 23 23 is for the vibhakti so whereas 21 and 22 are for vachanas vachana exceptions in dvitiya chaturthi shashti there is adesh of 1 and 9 for yushmad and asmad respectively Although it is applicable for all vachanas in Dvitiya, Chaturthi, and Shasti, still the twenty-first and twenty-second sutra are specific exceptions for bahu vachana and ek vachana. Therefore, this will apply only for dual. Now, even if I want to apply for the singular, and I use the twenty-second sutra ek vachana sya, still I have to look as uh, at whether it is Dvitiya, Chaturthi, and Shasti. is there an exception for dvitiya chaturthi and shashti further exceptions so moving to 23rd i'll get dvitiya yaha twamau dvitiya yaha so this particular sutra has an exception in the vibhakti also and in vachanas also so vachanas there are specific exceptions in 21 and 22 and in 23rd we have an exception for the vibhakti so if i am working on a vibhakti then एक वचन एंड देन आई हैव टू लुक एट अनुवृत्तीज आल्सो स्पेसिफिक एक वचन अस्य गोस टिल 23rd हियर 22nd गिव्स एन एक वचन एक्सेप्शन टू दिस सूत्र एंड 23 गिव्स एन एक वचन प्लस द्वितीय एक्सेप्शन टू दिस सूत्र सो व्हाट इज एप्लीकेबल इज युष्मद अस्मद शब्द इन द्वितीय द 23rd सूत्र विल हैव हैव प्रवृत्ति देयर एंड देन in ek vachana only so here we'll apply twa as the adesha not te not one for one the exception is from 8121 this is a, an adesha for yushmad iti prapte then ek vachana sy te yushmad yushmad will be replaced by te yushmadah te but then iti prapte again once so yushmad should have been replaced by one but one because it is dvitiya ek vachana now this one will be replaced by te that te also iti prapte twa so we have to go for exception after exception and finally we land on twa so what will be the uh, adesha is twa we'll get the form in yushmad we'll get twa so there's not much point in noting down because these are all uh, not specific derivations in there are mul not multi step derivations it's only landing on the right sutra so that is yushmat shabda dvitiya ek vachana when you go to dvitiya dvivachana in dvivachana do we have an exception no so this will apply and then there you will get van van is what actually this is anuswara van nakara uh, मोनुस्वारा विच इज पदांता एंड देन नश्चा पदांत झली अपदांत दिस नकारा विल बिकम अनुस्वारा एंड देन अनुस्वारा इट इज एक्चुअली इट इट हैज बिकम नकारा बाय बाय संधि बट इट इज एक्चुअली मकारा इट वाज मकारा मोनुस्वारा रियली वाम एंड वाम एंड नौ हैव कम टुगेदर एंड देन इट हैज बिकम अनुस्वारा एंड इन The, since nakara follows we converted the anuswara to in the uh, sutra part this thing also lagu in uh, lagu that we are looking at i just change that to nakara to show you that here see this is nakara it was marked as anuswara but if you make the sandhi optional sandhi this will become nakara but actually this is not nakara it is in samasa vam and nau together have become one nau so it is actually oh, it is not one one yeah one so warm and nau so it is not one and nau it is warm and nau so if i split this pada now yushmadasmadoh shashti divachana then shashti chaturthi द्वितीयास्थ 
dvitiya sthayo ho there is tha also so that which is present in dvitiya so dvitiya this dvitiya stha stha also has some bearing one and so vitya sthayo ho vam no that is a padacheda what else is there in the uh, one padat and padasya so uh, this i can't split one now so no and one now so this i can't split it but it is no prathama dvivachana so shashti this in samana adikrunidi purva pada here युष्मदस्मदोहो षष्टी चतुर्थी द्वितीया स्थयो हो व्हाट आर द आदेश वाम एंड नौ सो नौ इन ड्यूअल इट विल बिकम वाम वाम नावो वान नावो देन इन संधि इट विल बिकम वान नावो हियर पदात पदस्य सो देयर इज आल्सो इज अ लिटिल कॉम्प्लिकेटेड सूत्र द सेक्शन इज अ लिटिल कॉम्प्लिकेटेड बिकॉज पदात पदस्य What does the anurth lagurthi say? Padat parayo ho apadado sthitayo ho shastyadi vishistayo ho van nau meaning vam and nau ityadesho staha vam and nau are the adeshas for yushmad and asmad which are following a padat padat parayo ho so padat will tell you that they should be following a pada not at the beginning in if the This pada, yushmat shabda or asmat shabda is at the beginning of the sentence, meaning not following a pada. That's when it will not be following a pada or in a samasa also. If that is the case, then the adeshas cannot be vam and nau. Only when it is following a pada. So pada parayo ho and apada do. Apada do tells you that it should not be. at the beginning of a pada also meaning in a uh, in a shloka if this yushmad and asmad are at the beginning of the pada then they will not take vam and nau adesha multiple conditions are there so uh, this be maybe from somewhere else but these many conditions are there derived from pada padasya but the vritti lagu vritti says that the condition other than this dvitiya chaturthi and shashti stha not only should be they, they should be belonging to these particular vibhaktis they should be following a pada and they should be apada apadaadi meaning they should not be at the beginning of the pada in a shloka then alone they'll take vam and nau adeshas so considering that all uh, all these are fulfilled then we can see that yushmat plus am द्वितीय विभक्ति सुजस अम औक्ष इन अम अम स्थान विल हैव त्वा आदेश एंड द फॉर्म विल बी त्वा ओनली व्हेन इट इज नॉट एट द बिगिनिंग ऑफ द पद एंड फॉलोड बाय अ पद सॉरी प्रिसीडेड बाय अ पद सो यू विल हैव त्वा फॉर्म इन अम फॉर अस्मद व्हाट विल बी द फॉर्म दिस इज मा सो त्वा एंड मा सो यू विल हैव मा आदेश एंड यू विल हैव मा इन द second case singular then second case dual just give me a moment please somebody is at the door Yeah. So there's there's no way to mute the bell. 
you can mute the phone but you can't mute the bell at the door okay so back to yushmad asmat uh, twa and ma when they are not at the beginning of the sentence or at the beginning of the pada uh, not meaning not preceded by pada also uh, when is when preceded by a pada and not at the beginning of the pada or a sentence we will will have twa or ma now these are mandatory so that time we should not use twam we should not use second case singular that we derived earlier twam or mam so these are twa and ma are mandatory there in those situations so that is dvitiya ek vachana in in dvitiya uh, dvivachana what will happen out sthana yushmat plus out yushmat plus out you will get so you have to look at the section again the reason i am going through the section is because you have vachana exceptions as well as vivakti exceptions so it's better to look through sutra patha then we'll look at this all this in lagu so what will happen here uh, out out sthana you will have dvitiya this sutra will have pravrutti then bahuvachana and ekavachana are specific exceptions dvitiya this exception only for ekavachana ekavachana se has the anurutti therefore will will have no exception to this particular sutra in out sthana in dvivachana 8120 will have pravrutti and here we'll get vam adesha so dvitiya yushmat plus out you will get vam adesha and thereby what will happen is that you'll uh, here you'll get out uh, plus, vam so vam is the adesha the form would be the form is vam itself so au will get vam so the, these are the uh, anekal shit sarvasya will have pravrutti and you will get the complete yushmat shabda is replaced and you get vam further um, so in to, actually twa also what would have happened is that um, padasya padat so it it is said padasya padat twa plus am yushmat plus am was replaced by twa and there actually uh, just give me one moment there is one confusion there yeah actually you are right the i i just took at the uh, kalyanthi you have pointed there is another anuvrutti which uh, it, i just looked at this anudattam as the swara but there is sarvam apadadav so this apadadav is and sarvam is there this is important sarvam so we, other, otherwise the uh, uh, the uh, um, the pratyay is hanging so this sarvam has a bearing which i don't think lagu is covering there he just took apadadav so apadadav is from the earlier so this apadadav is also there anudatta any swara will leave but apadadav this is saptami ek vachana but sarvam is important here sarvam so that why sarvam has been mentioned when you already have uh, you have uh, the um, anekal shit sarvasya that is the adesha for the anga but here sarvam says that the entire thing is replaced entire pada so padasya sarvam so padasya sarvam padasya will also have there is an anurutya of padasya also so padasya sarvam vam if you read it that way then you will know that vam will replace the entire pada so even if you have yushmad plus so this is very uh, Uh, a new thing that we have seen we have not seen uh, so far we have not seen an adesha for the entire pada so suptingantam padam iti padasya sarvam vam syat so entire thing will become vam uh, vam and also this this has an anuvrutti as kalyan ji pointed out this anuvrutti is still 74 so everywhere there is sarvam sir so all of those are replaced so there is a very specific section where it is not only uh, the sarvam has to be interpreted as needed it has to be interpreted so this sarvam means the entire pada is being replaced 
देर बाय यू विल गेट यू विल गेट इवन इन एक वचन से वेन यू ता मऊ द्वितीया द्वितीया पद इट से रीप्लेस अदरवाइज वॉट विल हेपन इज दट ता प्लस अम इज स्टील हैंगिंग सो इट इज नॉट अनेकाशित सर्व बट हियर सर्व दि एंटायर पद युष्म प्लस अम इज एंटायरली रीप्लेस बाय ता so there is not much to do no savarna dirga nothing to be done there no specific sutras to look for the entire pada is replaced by twa and thereby in outsthana also what will happen is that when you apply vam vam will also sarvadesha so sarvadesha is not angadesha it is sarvam iti padam and thereby padadesha the entire pada will be replaced by vam so dvitiya द्विवचन विल बी वाम देन द्वितीय बहुवचन वेन यू हैव शस सो युष्म प्लस अस्मद ऑल्सो लेट डू अस्म अस्म प्लस आउट वुड बी नौ आदेश एंड इट विल बी सर्व पदादेश देर बाय ओनली नौ विल बी दी फॉर्म देन द्वितीय बहुवचन शस फॉर युष्म एंड अस्म रिस्पेक्टिवली वॉट विल हैपन इज दैट बहुवचन हैज अ स्पेसिफिक 21st sutra is a specific exception so you will get bahuvachanasya vasnasau so if you have vasnasau again you will have what sarvadesha so vas will be the adesha for yushmad so yushmad plus shas is equal to yushmad plus nothing uh, yushmad plus shas will be vas and plus nothing shas is also replaced so you will get vas and then rutto visarga you will get vaha then nas is the adesha for Uh, asmad asmad plus shas will become completely both together replaced by nas and nas sakara you will have uh, sasojusho ruhu rutva and then visarga vai kharavasana or visarjaniya and you will get naha so vaha for yushmad dvitiya bahuvachana and naha for asmad dvitiya bahuvachana so that is dvitiya chaturthi when you go to chaturthi chaturthi or pratyay is nye nye bhyam bhyas so gne when you add ek vachana ek vachana what should happen here if you think about it a, sorry ek vachana in yushmat shabda chaturthi this is only dvitiyaya but here ek vachanasya ek vachana is a specific exception not dvitiyaya if it is dvitiya then twa If it is not dvitiya, chaturthi is not dvitiya, but ch chaturthi has a eka vachana specific vachana specific exception. So chaturthi eka vachana, when you add yushmat plus nye, then te will be the adesha, sarva adesha, and the form will be te. Te to bhyam. Earlier, uh, what we had is yushmat, we had to bhyam. So here you will have te. And in dvitiya, what did we have? We had tuam tuā. So tuam tuā, yuam vam. then yushman vah this is dvitiya in chaturthi you will get tubhyam instead of tubhyam now you will get te mandatorily when it is not padadi and it is follow, following a pada that time te is mandatory so there we should not use tubhyam so that is the idea here te then te and what ते मया ए मया वेक वचनस्य मीन्स व्हाट दिस ते मया वेक वचनस्य इज व्हाट हियर यू विल हैव ते एंड मे ते एंड मे हियर इन ड्यूअल हैव बिकम ते एंड दिस मय एक वचनस्य देयर इज अ एच ओ आई वाय संधि सो इट इज ते एंड मे आर द आदेश इन युष्मद प्लस ने चतुर्थी एक वचन यू विल गेट मे एज द आदेश एंड द फॉर्म इज being sarvadesha the form is me so mayam me mayam is the form or there is me through 8122 so that is chaturthi ek vachana chaturthi dvi vachana what will happen bhyam pratya so it bhyam pratya sarvadesha again but chaturthi ek vachana 22 is pravrutta If it is dvitiya, then twenty third pratyas. So dvitiya, we eight uh, one twenty three. We can its job is done. So we don't need eight one twenty three anymore now because dvitiya we have done. In chaturthi, ekavachana there was a exception in twenty two, but 
Dvachana does not have an exception. Bahuvachana has an exception. But Dvachana does not have an exception. Therefore, the Adesha will be no and the form will be no. Now we can look at Shashti also because the Bahuvachana exception is there. In Vachana exception is there for all three, all three cases. But um, the exception for the Dvitiya, the Dvitiya is there in 23rd. But Chaturthi and Shashti have no exceptions. And Dvitiya also has no exception in Dvachana. So Dvachana everywhere in Chaturthi, Dvitiya, Chaturthi and Shashti, you will get now for Asmat Shabda and Vam for yes, Yushmat Shabda. So Vam and now will be the form in all duels in Dvitiya, Chaturthi and Shashti. So we don't need to do them separately. So Bahuvachana, what will be the form for Chaturthi Bahuvachana? The Pratyaya is Bhyas. There, Bhyas, what will happen? Bahuvachana Sya Vas Nasau. So in Bahuvachana also, what will be the form? There will be Naha. No, sorry. It will be uh, Vaha. So Vas will become Vaha. Nas will become Naha. This, these are for Yushmad and Asmad. So Yushmad, second case, fourth case and sixth case plurals will be Vaha and Asmad, second case, fourth case and sixth case plural will be Nas and thereby Naha. Dual will be Vam and Nav. So Ekvachana alone has exceptions, has change in form. In Ekvachana, Dvitiya has an exception, it will be Twa and Ma in Dvitiya Ekvachana. For Yushmad, there will be Twa form and for Asmad, there will be Ma form. But Chaturthi and Shashti Ekvachana, the form will be what? It will be Te and Me. Ekvachana, because Ekvachana has specific exceptions, which was replaced in Dvitiya. Only in Dvitiya it was replaced. So Dvitiya form for Yushmad is Twa. Ekvachana, Chaturthi form is Te, Shashti Ekvachana is Te. For Yushmad, Ekvachana form is Ma, Dvitiya Ekvachana, Chaturthi Ekvachana is Me, and Shashti Ekvachana is Me. So now this completes this set. So our forms will now look for Yushmad Shabda. The form in Dvitiya will be Tvam Tva, Vam Nau, uh, sorry, Tvam Tva, Yuvam Vam, and then Yuvam Vaha. Then uh, the uh, forms for Chaturthi would be what? Tubhyam te. Then Tubhyam te, Yuabhyam vam, and uh, very confusing forms. We, what we have derived also, earlier forms were also confusing. That's why having these two forms is a little scary. Okay, one more uh, problem. I have another visitor. Just a minute again.
Okay. Uh, so yeah, uh, the forms for uh, Yushmat Shabda. Uh, am I audible? Yes. Okay. So Dithiya forms. Dithiya forms. You'll have uh, Tuam, Tua, then Yuam, Wam, and then Yushman, Waha. Chaturthi form would be Tubhyam, Te, Yuabhyam. Uh, you are bhyam, then vam, and then yushmabhyam naha. And shashti form would be what? Tavate, yuvayoho, vam, and then yushmakam vaha. For asmat shabda, dvitiya, you will have maam ma, avam nau, asman naha. Asman na means asman or naha. And then Chaturthi would be Mayam me Avabhyam nau Asmabhyam naha. Shashti would be Mama me Avayoho nau and Asmakam naha. So these are the forms. Now let's look at the, I'll not write these down. Let's look at what happens later. So here we'll just write the forms. I'll not derive it. There's only Adeshas. So just let's go to the sutras and see what does it say. Padat parayoho apadado sthitayoho shatyadi vishittayoho vam nau iti adesha ustaha. Bhavachana se vasan sau. Now in Bhavachana you'll have vasan. Vasan sau is vas, va, sorry vasna sau. Vasna sau is what? Vas and nas. These are the adesha. Vas for yushmat shabda. Nas for asmat shabda. In Bhavachana. In Bhavachana again for Dvitiya, Chaturthi and Shashti only. Ukta Vidayoho, Anayoho, those which are mentioned for those two, Shashtyadi, Bhavachanantayoho, Vasnasaustaha. So Shashtyadi, starting Shashti, Shashti, Chaturthi and Dvitiya, there Bhavachana, only Bhavachana will have Vas and Nas, so we will get Vaha and Naha. Te Maya Vekavachanasya, Te and Me are Ekavachana for in Ekavachana Sya te, te and Me. Te and Me are the Adeshas. Ukta Vidayoho Anayoho Shashti Chaturthi Ekavachanantayoho Te Me Etaustaha. So Te and Me are Adeshas for Yushmad and Asmad respectively. In Ekavachana for Dithiya. Chaturthi and Shashti, but Dvitiya has specific Ekavachana exception, which is here. There is an Anurti of Ekavachana also. Tvamau Dvitiyaya ha. Ekavachana si. So Dvitiya Ekavachana antayo ho Tvama iti Adesha ustaha. Now to, for us to understand this entire thing, he quotes a, Lagukara quotes a shloka. So there is a shloka here. So he quotes a shloka here. Shri Shastava Vatuma Pi Iha Datta Teme Pi Sharma Saha Swami Teme Pi Saharipatu Vama Pi No Vibhu Sukham Van No Dadatvisha Patir Vama Pi No Harihi Sovyadvo Nashivam Von Naha Dadya Sevyo Travasanaha Okay, lot of obstacles today. Just a minute. Sorry, so this, the, they're washing the floors and uh, the water is coming in. So that is the difficulty. Okay, so Shri Shri Shaha. Shri Shaha Tava Avatu. So here, 
uh, this should be tava or twa this should be twa here there is a typo here not tava twa avatu twa is twam so this is a form where padadi padadi is there right so here he is including the the meaning of all all the not padadi there is padat so sh, this 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 is yushmat shabda here yushmat shabda dvitiya ekavachana as an object to avatu avatu is avarakshane so shrishah rakshatu avatu this shrishah let him shrishah so lakshmipati lakshmipati vishnu let him protect whom you so how do you say that twa why twa because this is padat this yushmat shabda yushmat plus am is padat so it, the form is not twa avatu it is twa avatu and then savarna dirga sandhi because it is padat and it is twa is not pada, padadi padadi shrishah and twa is padat after a pada therefore it has been replaced by twa by which sutra by twamo dvitiyaya ha dvitiyaya ekochana then ma api ih ma api ih not only you let shri shah ma api avatu ih ma api avatu so why ma because ma is also again padat it is after a pada and it is not padadi pad pada starts here second pada starts here first pada starts here therefore it is not padadi it is padat therefore twamo dvitiyaya ha this is ma is second case singular then dattat te me api sharma sah sah shrishah vishnu te me api sharma dattat so sharman sharman is the pradipada so let him give us sharma means kalyan dattat dattas means mehi mehi grant us kalyana not our kalyan ji so kalyan ji let there be kalyan cuz kalyanam bhavatu so kalyan so let there be kalyan so kalyan is auspiciousness this is the prayer there me te me api so there te and me are which forms now tubhyam and mayam to you and me as well but why te and me because of this te maya vekavachanasya in chaturthi in chaturthi since they are again dattat is padadi me is padat te is padat and they are not padadi therefore te and me adeshas swami te me api sahari hi patu vam api nau vibuhu again swami te pat te and me here also same reason it is but here it is te uh hmm ha uh, here it is a very different usage not mayam and tubhyam it is tava and mama so te swami me swami sah hari hi so he is your swami as well as my swami but i don't you here he has not used tava or mama te and me because again same reasons not padadi and padat they are padat but not padadi so hari hi patu vam api nau vibuhu so vam api nau vibuhu now here dual usage dual and dvitiya so first he use singulars in dvitiya chaturthi and shashti then dvitiya dvivachana vam and nau vibuhu hari hi vibuhu patu patu again raksha rakshana pa here also palana then further sukham vam same reason reason remains the same being padat and not being padadi sukham vam nau dadatu isha here vam and this vam and this vam is different this nau and this nau is different here it is chaturthi now sukham vam nau dadatu isha let isha give both of us what sukha vam you you both as well as you know we we both us both of us and both of you 
so this is to you so this is to both of you warm and to both of us now here it was both of you let him protect both of you and let him protect both of us here it is let him give sukha to so this is chaturthi sampradana to both of you and to both of me uh, both of us sorry now so warm and now again warm and now is used but shashti dyavachana dadatu ishadin patir vam api nau harihi so hari is pati vam nau so for you this is for you both and for us both as well that is the form here then landing on the plural so vyadvah nah shivam vah nah dadyat sevyah atra vah sah nah what is this so this is vah nah use thrice again in the same sentence with dvitiya meaning chaturthi meaning and shashti meaning sah sah here um so sah is vyad aya avyad so sah avyad sah avyad vah again avyad vah plural so same here avatu avatu here avyat avyat let him protect whom all of us so vah and nah dvitiya bahuvachana then shivam vah nah dadyat shivam dadyat to all of you to all of us plural then sevya atra vah sah na vah nah api sah sevya sah that same shri sah is sevya he is should be served he should be served and then who he is not should be served how will you say it? that he is sevya means he is he is he is he is uh, worship worthy he is worship worthy or he is service worthy that is the meaning here and for whom for you all as well as for we all so vah here is shashti bahuvachana nah is shashti bahuvachana so he is used uh, the forms of dvitiya chaturthi and shashti ek vachana dvivachana and bahuvachana what are the forms how they are to be used in one shloka एक वाक्य युष्मद अस्मदो अस्मद आदेशा वक्तव्या एक वाक्य इज इट एनिथिंग एल्स नो दैट्स इट सो एक वाक्य युष्मद अस्मद आदेशा वक्तव्या युष्मद एंड अस्मद आदेशा शुड बी टॉक अबाउट इन एक वाक्य एक वाक्य मीन्स नॉट अक्रॉस सेंटेन्सेस हियर इट हैज बीन मेन्शन uh but actually it is understood even if uh, we didn't have this vartika this is a vartika ek vakye only in a single sentence this should be talked about see this is a single sentence here if the verbs change then the sentence changes and if the sentence changes then these mandatory adeshas as mentioned they'll not hold across sentences they don't apply only in a same sentence and what is ek vakya so there there's a definition ek thing vakyam we have seen this many times ek thing vakyam what is it ek ek thing pratyaha pratyaha thing is pratyaha but here thing is thingantam padam so thingantam not thingantam thingantam padam so ekam thingantam padam yasmin tad vakyam so this is a lakshana vakya definition for vakya what is a vakya that which has one thingantam pada is a vakya so if there are multiple thingantam padams then you should not use this these rules these sutras in yushmad and asmad scenario for example odanam pacha tav bhavishyati so how many words are verbs are there here odanam pacha tav bhavishyati what are the verbs here ओदनम पच्छ तव भविष्यति फोर वर्ड्स इज नॉट फोर वर्ड्स वर्ड्स तिंगंत वाक्य सर ओके ओके तिंगंत वाक्य ओके आई हर्ड इट कम हाउ मेनी तिंगंत आर देयर 
फ्यूचर टेन्स सो ओदनम पच सो दिस इज वन सेंटेंस इज ओवर हियर रियली ओदनम पच मीन यू कुक राइस You cook rice, tawa bhavishyati. It will be useful for you. Now, why tawa? Why not te? That is being justified here. Te is mandatory. Only see all these are strict rules. Okay, how many of them know? How many of them use is a different matter. Today, I mean, how many of them use is a different matter. But for the accuracy of the rules, we have to study them because laghu is describing the accuracy in ashtadhyayi, and in ashtadhyayi. As per Ashtadhyayi, people don't use the language. They don't even know. People learn the language the way they learn. It may or may not follow these rules. But strictly speaking, here tawa should be used, not te. Why? Because, uh, is of course. I mean, uh, I'm not saying that tawa should be used. Whatever is the rule there, tawa or te. Why te? Te should not be definite adesha here. That's all I'm saying. It can be te or tawa. That is that is chintaniyam. because uh, more vartikas are there for this but when when will it become te we have seen in this verse now is this tava padadi uh, uh, is, is it padat it is not padat here if you say pacha is preceding therefore it is padat yes if pacha had been preceding then tava would have been been the padat this this pada would have been after a pada but here actually it's a separate sentence so it is padadi being padadi te is not an adesha here that is what is being explained here through vartika ekavakya in ekavakya this is not ekavakya this is dvivakya there are two vakyas here odanam pacha is one vakya therefore if i stop here put a full stop here tava would be the first word if tava is a first word then there is no padat and if it padat is not applicable then this will in this sentence there will be no no pravrutti of te maya vekavachanasya in ditiya chaturthi and shashti here there is shashti usage and that shashti tava will remain it will not be replaced by te it need not be i am not saying will not be need not be replaced by te because it may be optional ete vanna vadayah अनवादेशे वा वक्तव्य सो दिस इज द रीजन आई एम नॉट सेइंग दैट इट शुड बी तव इट कैन बी ते आल्सो व्हाई देयर इज अनदर वार्तिका एते एते के 1 एंड 9 सो 1 एंड 9 व्हिच हैज बीन मेंशनड एंड आदय ऑल दीस व्हिच हैव बीन टॉक्ड अबाउट एते वानावादयः अनवादेशे वा वक्तव्य वा मींस विभाषया वक्तव्य इट शुड बी सेड दैट तव और ते कैन बी यूज्ड mama or me can be used etc all those forms that we saw in dvitiya chaturthi and shashti in ekad vachana dvivachana and bahuvachana all this should be said as optional when when ananvadeshe when anvadesha is not there what is anvadesha we saw in idam anvadesha is when something is already some person is being talked about or some people whoever person people are being talked about or things whatever has been talked about and there is a repetition we are referring to the same entity again then this yushmad and asmad so it is basically not some person it is either you or me in singular dual or plural when we are talking about second person or first person again ananvadesh uh, anvadeshe that is anvadesha then there is anvadesha but when there is no anvadesha then it is ananvadesha so in a scenario of ananvadesha when you are not repeating or you are not uh, talking about an end, about you or me in singular or dual you or us in singular or uh, dual or plural when we are not talking about first person or second person who has gone by 
who we have already referred to then then va vaktavya then it should be a vibhasha anvadeshu tu, tu nityam sivu thereby what is understood here anvadesha only when it is an anvadesha it will be nityam otherwise see odanam pacha tava bhavishyati if if this tava this person who is this tava tava is yushmad shabdasya shashti ekvachana roopam so when we have already talked about a person and then there is an anvadesha who is that person you you in singular i have already talked about and then i am repeating it then this will be nitya anvadesha will be uh, anvadesha scenario will take place and then nityam adesha these adeshas would be nitya dhata te bhakto asti dhata tava bhakto asti iti va so you can have two two ways to have this sentence dhata te bhakta asti so that te can be said or tava tava bhakta ha tava bhakta or te bhakta both are okay because we have not talked about this entity you in singular earlier in this sentence tasmai te nama ityeva however when i am saying that tasmai te namaha ityeva there tasmai tasmai namaha and then te when we are repeating there is anvadesha then te should take place not not the same uh, not the usage which has been made earlier the first form the second form is a is a definite adesha there so here uh, this sentence dhata si dhata te te there is tava so it is shashti ekavachana and dhata is vidhata who is brahma so brahma is your bhakta that is the sentence here your is this is if you are talking to vishnu so brahma is narayana bhakta if you say narayana's bhakta then te o narayana dhata brahma brahma dhata brahma te bhakta asti or tava bhakta asti bhakta asti so here anvadesha is not there therefore there can be te or tava form whereas in the here i think the usage is tasmai te namaha is uh tasmai so tasmai is should be in the sentence this is in the sentence where i think it is said uh, yo agnir havya vaat tasmai te namaha so yaha agni hi havya vaat so agni agni prashansa is done or uh, lakshana is given who is agni havya vaat so yaha yaha agni hi havya vaat bhavati tasmai ta, to that kind of agni so tasmai that kind of agni which you are yah which is because yah has already talked about that agni then that agni devata te namaha so you cannot say tava namaha uh, sorry tasmai namaha there you should say only te namaha so there te namaha is said because what kind of what kind of agni has already been talked about to that kind of agni there is namaha therefore te is here te should be used not tubhyam so tasmai tas to that that agni who is tubhyam there because it is already the agni is already referred earlier so anvadesha is there and since anvadesha is there tubhyam cannot be used not tubhyam namaha but te namaha so very uh, very specific rules and very complicated forms also so yushmad shabda if you learn by like rama shabda rama shabda also has a lot of exceptions there are so many rules but yushmad and asmad shabdas best to learn the forms by not by sutras but by by sutras you know the accuracy you understand the rules but to understand the forms we have to read the forms every day so it's better to learn uh, in fact every every subanta word specifically this akaranta pullinga shabdas and then uh then the yushmad asmad shabdas especially where there are multiple forms when to use what is understood through sutras but the forms themselves are best learned through chanting so that completes the yushmad asmad shabda now after multiple classes now lagukara moves towards the supad supad supadav so supad 
Supat, the path. So the word path there is uh, the it is derived to give the meaning of feet. And supat is what one who has shushtu pada. So one who has beautiful feet. That's the idea. So whoever has beautiful feet is called as supat. And how will it decline? Now supat will decline as supat supad supat or supat. So earlier this is dakara ending form, but then takara by uh, va vasani. So va 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 vasani char. So we'll have chara desha. You get supat. Then uh, supad. This is supad plus su. Prathama ek vachana. Dwiti uh, prathama dwi vachana. What will happen? Supat became supad. Why? So here, uh, not supad. I think not here. This is a typo here. This, because before introducing the sutra, he will not give the form. This is a typo. It should be supado. So supad, supado, supadaha, which is what we already know. Marut shabda. Marut, marutau, marutaha. Marut or marud, marutau, maruta. Pushtil pullinga. Marut is also pullinga. Supat is also pullinga. But why did he pick up supat again? If Marutar, he has, I think he had taken some other word, but why this word again? Because for Pad Dhatu, this Pada Shabda, not Pad Dhatu, Pada Shabda, when Pada Shabda is used, there is a specific exception in Bha, Bhasthana. So Pada Pat. So what will happen? Here you will get Supat or Supad in Prathama Ekvachana. Dvitiya Dvivachana, you will get Supadav, then Supadaha, then Supadam in Dvitiya Ekvachana, this much we know. Supadau also we know in Aukstana because Au and Out will have same forms. So Sudanapunsa Kasya in, in Sarvanamasthana will have the forms as we have studied earlier. What happens in Asarvanamasthana? Asarvanamasthana you will have Pada. General, general definition is Padam. Uh, Asaranamasthana in Asaranamasthana, uh, but Yachibham. Bha will be only when Akaradi, Ajadi, sorry, not Akaradi, Yakaradi and Ajadi. Yakaradi we don't have in Sup, you don't have Yakaradi Pratyas, we have Ajadi Pratyas. In Ajadi Pratyas, you will have Bha, whatever precedes the Pratya will be called as Bha, otherwise in Asaranamasthana, they will be called as Padam. So, Pad of Pat, the next sutra is Pad of Pat 64130. I just wanted to move beyond uh, the Yushmat Shabda. So, let me just mention this and then stop. Here it is Bhastana. We will look at the sutra proper in the next part. Pat Shabda Shabdantam Yad Angam Bham. So, mean Bha Anga Tadavayavasya. Part of that Bha is what? Pat Shabda. So, that Pat Shabda Sya Bhasya. Basya avayasya pad shabdasya padadeshasya. So pad will take padadesha. Thereby supad, supad, not supad, 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 supad will be replaced by supad, not replaced by pad will be replaced by pad, and thereby supad will become supad in bhastana. And uh, so just am out shas. Shas is ajadi pratya because. Lashakottadite tasya lopa, you will have as pratya. As is ajadi. Therefore, swadishu asarvanamasthane padam, but yachibham will give it bhasanya. So, supad will become bhasanya when followed by shas pratya. Therefore, pad will be replaced by pad and you will get supad. Supad plus shas, as will give you supadas. Then, rutto visarga will give you supadaha. So, this is dvitiya bhavachana. So, supad. Supat, Supadau, Supadaha, Supadam, Supadau, Supadaha. So in Supadaha because there is Padadesha in Ajadistana. Thereby now we look at the other in Padasthana, uh, Pada, Padasanyasthana, you will have Pad as the form of Supad and Anga will be, be remain Supad but in Bhastana it will become Supad. We'll see more in the next part. Huh? Nrita Vasani Nataraja Raju Nana Dadakano Panchavaram Uddhar Tukama Sanaka the Siddhan Eta Dvimarshe Shiva Sutrajalam. Okay, Namaste. I've got. Uh,
something else to attain if there are questions i'll take it later namaste